So today we are going to be putting the flounce onto the dress. And in order to do that, you have to take your flounce and mark your front and your back center. And now we have our front and our back marked with pins. So now you're going to open it up and take your pins and put them together. And then find, just line that up and walk it all the way down to that corner. And that is going to be my side point, right there. Mark it with a pin. Then I'm going to do the same thing, just lining that up till I get to that other edge. And I'm going to mark it with a pin. We got our sides marked. We have our front and our back marked. Now we're gonna find the quarter marks on our front and our back, cause now we have like, this is a half, and then this is a half. So there's half of a half. So now we want to mark our quarter marks. So what I'm going to do now is just fold it in half again. Make sure all that lines up. And I'm going and I'm going to mark both of them. But now this is just going through one piece of fabric and then through the other piece of fabric. And I'm weaving my pins just to make sure they hold with all the manipulation. Another way to do that is got my side seam and or my side where my seam would be if there were a seam and then my center front and then I'm just going to actually meet those two pins up and then there is my quarter so mark that with a pin and I'm going to do the same thing on back back side match them up them with a pin. So you should have a total of eight pins. So it's going to divide this up into eight sections. We're going to do the same thing on the dress and then basically you just match these pins. And this is the top of my dress where the flounce is going to be. I have side seams on here so that makes my job a little easier. So I'm going to take my side seams and actually I can see on my fabric where the fold was so I'm just going to put a pin in on the fold of the fabric then I'm going to match my side to my front and I'm gonna pin. Gonna match my side to my back. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Now on the right side of my dress, where all my pins are, I'm gonna place the wrong side of my flounce. Being very careful not to lose any of your pins. So basically you're going to put your dress on the inside of your flounce like so. And you're going to match your pins. So there's a pin, there's a pin. Match them up and then pull your pins out and then just pin the two layers together. You have your
flounce pin to your dress. So as you sew it, like the flounce is a little bit bigger than the dress, and as you sew it on the machine, you're just going to stretch these pieces until they're the same size and sew. I have my machine set on my longest stitch length. I also have it on the a straight stitch, longest stitch length, and I have my needle moved all the way over to the left side. I'm gonna use my presser foot. I'm gonna run the edge of the fabric along the edge of the presser foot. So I'm gonna use the presser foot as my guide. Then I'm going to make a couple stitches. Then as I sew, I kind of grab where, let's move some of all this fabric out of the way. Grab where this other pin is and make sure that these two pieces line up. And I'm tugging slightly just to make sure everything stays together. I'm also using black thread um because it really doesn't matter because these stitches are going to come out eventually but this is just to hold it together until i can get my binding on the top all right so i'm just going to stitch all the way around there removing the pins and stretching as i go where we started and you have your stitching holding your two pieces together so now I'm going to show you how we're going to finish off this top so now I'm going to cut the binding I have a two inch ruler here I'm just going to make sure that I'm squared up on the fabric and using my rotary cutter cut that guy off and and then I get nice and even two inch strips so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these strips and I'm going to fold them in half and press that guy. And then I'm going to sew this onto the top of my dress. So I like to start at the back of the dress and make that be my starting and stopping point so I know which side is the back. And I do that with a lot of my garments. So I'm just going to, just like on a sewing machine, on my serger, I'm going to lift my press foot and I'm going to put my needles all the way up. I'm actually going to go down about two inches from where my binding starts. Slide that into the machine. So I'm going to start stitching a little bit and I like to put the binding on top because I'm going to kind of pull it a little bit as I sew. So I'm going to start stitching and then I'm going to start pulling and then I'm going to go all the way around till I'm almost back to the, my middle back section. Then I'm just going to like snip off any excess and then I'll show you how to close this up. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I've reached the other edge of my fabric. I'm going to pull my presser feet up. I'm going to pull all of my fabric to the back of the machine. And I'm just going to take that off. So I can see like right there is where my fold is where my center back would be so I'm gonna put that right to my center back and I want to cut it I'm gonna bring this other piece over to meet 
right where that center back is and I'm going to cut the excess off of that guy too. So they basically should just butt up against each other. They should just barely meet. Then I'm going to open them up and place them right sides together. And I'm going to put them onto my machine. I like to hang just a little bit of it off the edge here. Make sure the blades are actually cutting a little bit of that fabric off so that it doesn't bunch as I, as I surge it. So there is your surge seam. You open it back up. Make sure that it's laying flat. All those layers up. Make sure you're catching them all. Press the fit up needles up slide it under there right where you left off it can overlap a little bit you actually want to make it overlap just a touch so make sure everything is in there on the machine make sure it's all lined up so i'm going to do my finishing touches on this dress i'm going to remove my basting stitches then i'm going to top stitch this little seam down um, just right off the center of here just to hold this so that this little flap here doesn't pop up on me and it doesn't roll make sure everything just gonna lay nice and flat so I'm gonna top stitch that I'm going to hem my flounce so I'm gonna do those things and then I'm going to put on the dress and show you what the finished product looks like so here's the final product and I'm going to show you different ways to wear it or different ways to style it and you can wear it there or my favorite is to wear it under the bust it's more of like a dress which I'm going to show you in a sec and I would wear it with a belt if I wore it that way or you could wear it at the waist as a skirt but if I did a skirt I would just do a plain pencil skirt underneath.